Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Today I want to invite you to my roadside picnic. I'm trying to get a um, maximum from the last warm days of autumn. Did I say warm? It's interesting because within the city it is much warmer and I decided like I want to wear nice top and leggings because I wanted to feel comfortable. Um, but when I arrived here I realized how wrong I was. So I'm going to drink a lot of tea today. And also I got an Irish pumpkin cream. Cream. But I am not going to drink it right now because I draw here on the car. Also, I have a company today. Morty was pretty terrible during last days. So I decided to freeze him outside the city. Every single time when I am leaving my apartment, he is like, please take me outside. It is so boring here. I promise to be a nice cat and please take me to the adventures with you. But in reality, when I took him today, he was absolutely terrible cat. Guys, if some of you uh, experience uh, traveling with your pets, with your cats or dogs, please <clears throat> tell me what it is like. How do they feel in the car? How do you prepare them for the long trips? I'm asking because when Morty was um, a tiny kitten this summer, he was totally okay to drive with me 10 or 11 hours and he behaved very well. He seemed to uh, really not be stressed about traveling. But now, today I drove about 20 minutes and he was... Uh, I feel like he was a bit stressed about our road trip. And I'm curious what it is like in other um, cat or dog families. By the way, I didn't exaggerate it when I said this is a roadside picnic because I found an abandoned road and it looks like nobody was driving here for many, many years. But you know me, you know that I like such places and I already took few Instagram pictures and some OnlyFans posts, let's say like this, uh, in this place and... and what? So I highly recommend you to subscribe to my OnlyFans so you don't miss my recent Halloween posts. Um, I'm super active there, daily updates. Um, you can write me any time of the day. I spend most part of the day communicating there and you will find all links down in the description to this video. Okay, let's talk about my picnic. First of all, I wanted to cook something really special, something really epic, super yummy. And then I got those, you know, terrible flashbacks about my last experience of cooking on the nature. And I remember that I don't have any cooking skills. So I cooked all this delicious meals at home. So I'm sorry, no cooking process today. So let's start from the yummy baked potato with um, kabachok. <laughs> I'm sorry, this always happens with me when I don't have internet connection and cannot use Google Translate to translate some words. Um, and also, I have no idea what it is called, like, in English. It has, like, cheese, chicken and mushrooms inside. This is vegetables with cheese. And this is baked potato. Something like this. I'm sorry, I don't have any fancy um, names for these meals. So, I have yummy fruits. Sorry, I am so bad in merchandise, so I 
have no idea how to make them look good on the picture. Also, I have two types of cakes. This is the one with berries. And this is the second one with nuts. Honestly, this is my favorite one. Also, I have some pumpkins and, as I already said, some tea. I remember that one year ago, at this time, I was in Rovin, Croatia, filming my crazy uh, Halloween videos. It was an incredible time, and I literally felt in love with this town. Uh, this year I don't plan any um, traveling because of two reasons. So. So you think it's like the perfect place? Thank you so much, Morty, for not being near my table. So, uh, there are two reasons why I'm not going to travel uh, in the nearest future. The first one, the Morty has to get his vaccines. Uh, I had to wait that long because um, he was very sick and um, the treatment took a lot of time and uh, I was waiting for him to to become totally recovered and the second reason is um, rebuilding renovation of my folk house um, it takes a lot of time to control everything especially from the distance and I take uh, part in all of the processes and I simply cannot leave right now because I had to wait until everything will be done. Maybe if I decide to like travel somewhere this year um, it will be it will be not even this year it will be in 2022 maybe in February something like that. So now I'm going to um, have my tea because I don't want it to become too cold and I'm going to finish one cake and then we are going to have a little adventure and explore this abandoned road.
Morty thinks that I am leaving him and he's, he decided to leave the car and to follow me. Um, if you remember, I complained about my back problems and recently, a few days ago, I visited a doctor and uh, she found out that um, I really got serious problems with my spine and with my neck and with my right arm because of three reasons. One is my big chest area. The second one is um, many years of work in sitting position. And the third one, um, I took too heavy weight on, the, on my shoulder. I mean, during the workout, I took too much weight and injured my right shoulder. So now I have a special treatment that will last approximately during one month. So now I am going to do any kind of workouts only on my lower part of the body because doctor forbidden me to do anything on upper part so we can like go through the healing process more quickly. I think that Morty smelled someone. Look at this tail and back. I really hope that this is not a Sasquatch. It is difficult to name this road a road because it is in very bad condition. It's it's even it's almost invisible, I would say, and um, it definitely looks like it was forbidden for abandoned for many many years. As always, I imagine that my picnic uh, like I'm going to the wild nature and I'm finding the uh, Bigfoot cave and I'm vlogging from this cave to you. But when it comes to real life, it's always like this. I came to abandoned place, found an abandoned road, looked how Morty almost been near my table, ate pretty yummy dishes meals and returning back home. So probably today I am not going to ruin this tradition and I think it is time to return back home. Thank you so much for being with me. I hope you are enjoying your day and I wish you to have an incredibly nice post-Halloween November. And I will see you in the next video. Yeah.